Well, Jeremiah, uh, for those that aren't familiar with you, tell me a few prophecies that you clearly said before the fact that have already come to pass. You know, about six months ago, I had a wild encounter about a man named Kanye West. And six months ago, I had put online, I'd had this wild dream where the Lord said to me, just as I have raised up Donald Trump as a wrecking ball to the political arena, so shall I raise up Kanye West as another wrecking ball to the religious arena. And in this dream, there was a massive gathering, and on the platform was Donald Trump, Kanye West, and Justin Bieber. And as, as they began to speak to the crowd, it was at a church, it was a 50-50 split. And what I mean by that is half of the Christians were enraged. And the Lord said to me, even as I have raised up Donald Trump, I'll raise up Kanye West, I'll raise up Justin Bieber to drive the religious spirit out of the church. And I, I believe... I believe that there's a coming move of God that the church isn't ready for, but in 2020, we're going to be ready for it, Sid. And it is this out-of-the-box revival. So I went online and I prophesied, God is going to raise up Kanye West as a wrecking ball. It was just months later when literally in the news... Kanye West comes out with this album, this conversion, and here's what the Lord said to me, and I really want our listeners tonight to to tune in here. God said, I have given Kanye West as a gift to Donald Trump because he is Mm -hmm. going to win him votes in the African-American community that he needs to win the 2020 election. So I believe Kanye West is a secret agent in the hands of the Lord Makes in, sense to in, me. in the harvest fields and said there's, there's going to be an entertainment. You know that there's a lot of Christians that are turning their nose at Kanye West because they saw his past. What happens if the world sees your past before you became a believer? Uh, go and, and I'll tell you, who's, who's next is Justin Bieber. I want to just mention this, this word of prophecy. I did a conference. Boy, the presence of God. Yes. I don't know if anyone noticed this, but just as he started to talk about Justin Bieber, there was an increase like a rising river of the presence of God. And there's faith right now for those watching the program. Your sons and daughters are going to come home in 2020. I, I feel a harvester anointing right now. I just prophesy to those watching who think that their sons and daughters are too far gone. I declare the harvest is ripe and it's ready. We're ready for revival. But I want to prophesy Justin Bieber, he will be the next wrecking ball in the hands of the Lord. I did a conference where I called a woman out and I prophesied to her and this is, it was something small. I prophesied to her, ma'am, what the devil stole from the cradle God says I'm more than able. She fell down. At the end of the meeting, she said, do you know who I am? I said, no. She said, I'm Justin Bieber's mom. <laughs> and and I, I believe, I believe that the devil has come and tried to steal from the cradle. And I prophesy again to those watching, God is able in 2020 to do immeasurably more than all we can ask for or imagine. You know-